the Potatoes Christmas Show. It is Christmas time and Pepper and her playgroup are going to the theatre to see Mr Potato's Christmas Show. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the Christmas Vegetable Family. Mr Potato. Mrs Carrot. Sweet Cranberry and Little Sprouts. Here are your tickets. Find the seat with your number on it. Here's my seat. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Quickly now, children. The show is about to begin. Um, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh, sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh! Hello, children. I am Mr Potato. This is Mrs Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favourite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Little Sprout gone? Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> you see him, boys and girls, shout out, there's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it! When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> There you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! Sweet little sprout on the Christmas tree Potatoes, carrots and cranberry It's, it's a, a very, very special Christmas with all our friends Well, the magic of vegetables never ends That's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, everybody! That was a bit quick. Wait! There's one more surprise. A very important person has come to see you all. Ho, ho, ho! Can you guess who it is? Ho, ho, ho! It's the Queen! It's Father Christmas! Hooray! Hello, children. Have you all been good? Yes! Have you all been cleaning your teeth? Yes! Have you kept your bedrooms tidy? Um... Jolly good! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Now, let's all sing our Christmas song. Yes! Father Christmas! It is almost Christmas. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, we are going to do a Christmas play. Hooray! Danny will be Father Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Wendy Wolf can be an elf. Oh, goody. Can I be a Christmas fairy? Pepper will be the Christmas fairy. I want 
want to be the nurse. I don't think there is a nurse at Christmas, Susie. But what if somebody gets ill? Good point. Susie will be the Christmas nurse. I want to be a snowflake. OK. <laughs> now, you can all practice your parts. <laughs> It is the next day. Pepper and her family are at the supermarket. Daddy, look! It's Father Christmas! Why don't you go over and say hello? Hello, it's me, Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa! Are you looking forward to Christmas? Yes, we are doing a Christmas play. I am the fairy, Susie is the nurse and Danny is you. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Will you come and see our play? Uh, I am rather busy at this time of the year. Oh, please! I will do my best. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are putting up Christmas decorations. <laughs> Father Christmas is coming to see our play. How do you know? I saw him at the supermarket. I saw him at the garden centre, but he didn't tell me. I saw him at the shopping centre, and he didn't tell me. Oh! Peppa and her family have come to the Christmas tree shop. Look! It's Father Christmas again! Hello! And who might you be? Peppa! You haven't forgotten! Forgotten? No, no, no! Good! So, you will come to the play? Play? Our Christmas play. Of course. I will do my very best to come. Oh, goody. It is time for the Christmas play. All the parents have come to watch. Are we ready to start, children? We can't start. Father Christmas isn't here. He did say he might be a little bit too busy to come tonight, Peppa. Did he? But look, your parents are here. The show must go on. Snow, snow is what we like. Snow by day and snow by night. And when it snows, it turns things white. Snow, snow, snow. I am the Christmas fairy. Ho, ho, ho. I am Father Christmas. <laughs> Nurse, and I need to check if you are well. Say ah, ah. You're fine. Off you go. Wonderful. Ho, ho, ho. Father Christmas. You came to see our play after all. And it's very good. Do you really go all around the world on Christmas night? Yes. How do you do it? With my magic sleigh and reindeer. Uh, well, I'm sure Father Christmas is a bit too busy to show us his sleigh. It's true, I am very busy. But of course you can see my sleigh. Come outside, everyone. Wow! It's beautiful. What's it like to ride in? Hop in. I'll show you. Why not? A little drive around the car park. Hang on, everybody. Ready, steady, go! go. This is amazing! Oh, my goodness! We're flying! Can you go faster? Hold tight! Whoa! Let's do a loop the loop. Yes. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Police station. Pepper and her family are driving home. That was a great day out. Now all I want to do is get home, put my feet up and have a lovely cup of... <laughs> <gasps> George has lost Mr. Dinosaur again! Oh dear! George could have lost Mr. Dinosaur anywhere. We've been to so many places today. We went to the shops, to the playground, to the park. <laughs> George cannot remember where he left Mr. Dinosaur. Oh well, Mr. Dinosaur is lost forever then. 
Don't worry, George. Somebody will have found Mr Dinosaur. Yes, and when people find lost things, they take them to the police station. So that's where Mr Dinosaur will be. This is the police station. Here are Police Officer Squirrel and Police Officer Panda. They are doing important police work. Very good donuts, these. Yes, donuts really are the best. Mm. The police like donuts. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. And how may we help you today? Dinosaur. George has lost Mr Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Uh, actually, we were hoping some kind person might have found George's toy dinosaur and brought it here. I see. We'll need to question George. It's just routine. Please describe your dinosaur in your own words. Take your time. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur! Dine saw. Excellent description. Hmm, we do have some lost dinosaurs in the back. Follow me. Wow, what a lot of stuff. Yes, it's amazing the things people lose. Umbrellas. Handbags. Pirate treasure. Wow. wow. Yes, pirates are always forgetting where they buried their treasure. People dig the treasure up, and when they can't find the pirate who legally owns it... They bring the treasure here. Funny thing is, not one single pirate has ever walked into our police station to claim their treasure. This cement mixer was found in a train. The passenger must have forgotten it. Ooh. And this banana was found in a shoe shop. How in the world it got there, we'll never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lad. What were we looking for again? Dinosaur. Oh, yes. Here we are. A box full of plastic dinosaurs. Is this your Stegosaurus? No. How about this Triceratops? No. This Brontosaurus? No. Hmm. I'm afraid that's all the toy dinosaurs we've got. Oh. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh, who put that lamppost there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a lamppost. Dangerous lamppost on public highway. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is your car, is it? Uh, yes. The very same car you used for your day out when the dinosaur was lost? Yes. Why? Bear with us, please, madam. Did you look for George's dinosaur in the car? Well, uh, no. We assume... Please step away from the car, madam. Nothing in here. Completely clean. Mind if we open the boot, madam? Uh, go ahead. Hello, hello, hello. Look what we found here. <laughs> ah, yes. Why didn't we think of looking in the boot? Thank you so much. Just doing our job, madam. <laughs> George loves Mr Dinosaur and Mr Dinosaur loves George. The fish pond. Pepper and her family are having a day out. We're going to see a pond that has little fish swimming in it. I used to go there when I was a boy. We're here. Where's the fish pond? It's in the middle of the woods. We have to walk to it. Will we get lost like we always do? Oh, oh no. Remember, I came here when I was a little piggy. But that's a long time ago, Daddy Pig. In the olden days. Thank you, Pepper. Well, in the olden days, we started the walk by going along a path. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Ho, oh, oh, ho, nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, 
<laughs> oh, it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. Uh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy! Ho, ho! I'll get there first. Bye! I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on. We'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look, there's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> Of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the olden days. Susie Sheep has come to play at Peppa's house. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> I've got something to show you. Look. What is it? It's a photograph. Who do you think it is? <gasps> it's a baby sheep. It's me. <laughs> You're not a baby. <laughs> it's an old photo. When I was a baby. Don't be silly, Susie. In the olden days, you were a baby too, Peppa. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Ask your mummy. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. <coughs> mummy. Hello, Peppa. Susie is talking nonsense. No, I'm not. She said in the olden days, I was a baby. <coughs> Well, you were Pepper. Look, here are some photos on the computer. Who do you think that is? It's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is Pepper's cousin. No, that's you as a baby Pepper. Baby Pepper. <laughs> Somebody sounds like they're having fun. Look, Daddy, that's a picture of me as a baby. I remember it well. It was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? When you were little, 
we moved into this house. We brought all our things on top of our car. Mummy Pig put some pictures up. Daddy Pig put up a shelf. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. <laughs> Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Peppa. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh, what did we do? <laughs> you cried. You burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> and where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <laughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Oh, oh no, Peppa. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and so George was born. <laughs> and Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr Dinosaur! That's right. <laughs> And you and Susie were running and jumping around. <laughs> then one day you saw something amazing. Monkey puggle! <laughs> Pepper, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> you loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I still do! <laughs> Let's take a photo now. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa has always loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> snowy mountain. It is a lovely snowy day. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come to the mountains to go skiing. See you all at the top. Come, come on, car. car. You, you can, can make, make it. it. Oh. oh. The car cannot drive up the mountain. The snow is too slippery. You have to take the ski lift. <laughs> the ski lift is carrying everyone to the top of Snowy Mountain. Uh, it looks a bit high. Whoa! Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun! Oh, yes! Really fun! <laughs> in the air, in a chair, snow is falling everywhere. Flying high, in a chair, flying high and high and high. <laughs> the ski lift has reached the top of Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> skis, skis, get your skis here. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Skis for two grown ups and two children, please. There you go. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? Oh, oh, not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> Skiing is fun. Let's go back up. 
do it again. Whoa! Whoa! Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -huh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. <coughs> I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain! My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! That was fantastic skiing. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Ah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro is late. Peppa's playgroup are going on a trip to the museum. Oh, dear. Pedro Pony is not here. I bet he's still in his pyjamas. Pedro is asleep in his little bed. Pedro likes sleeping. Pedro, wake up. You'll be late for the school trip. <sighs> OK, Mummy. Come on, Pedro. We don't want to miss the bus. <sighs> the bus is still waiting for Pedro Pony. We can't wait any longer. The museum will be closed. OK, let's go. <laughs> oh, there's no one here. Maybe we're early. No, Pedro, we've missed the bus. Oh, come on, let's catch them up. <laughs> Pedro is always late. Look, there's a car chasing us. Oh, hello, Mrs Pony. Stop the bus! Pedro is here! Sorry, Madame Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. <sighs> yes, Madame Gazelle. To the museum. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. And me. And me. Me too. This is Grandad Dog's garage. What will it be? Petrol or diesel? <laughs> toilet, please. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, next stop, the museum. Um... Where is Pedro? <laughs> Petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just 
closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the king and queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs, all very nice. Ah! Amazing! Space, rockets and all that. Wow! And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh! Thank you, Mr Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro! A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo. Nobody has noticed Madame Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Pedro. We'll take a shortcut. Hello, Dot. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? We're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes. And you're late. You slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro likes being early. Everybody likes being early. <laughs> It is fruit day at the supermarket. Look, it's Mr Potato. Mrs Carrot. Sweet cranberry and little sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> apple, apple, orange, banana, banana pear and pineapple, pineapple too. Eat five pieces, pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to fruit day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow! So much fruit! Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa! Hello! We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. <laughs> Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? Is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry! George loves strawberries. Smoothies! Get your fruit smoothies here! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit! What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Can I... Have a smoothie, please. Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. <laughs> Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. Raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. Mm, lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. 
dinosaur juice. Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot? Yes, a carrot. Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. Mm. Are you all enjoying fruit day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> Everyone loves fruit <laughs> and carrots. <laughs> George's new clothes. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Muddy puddles. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George, you are all muddy. <laughs> Pepper, George. <laughs> George, my goodness, what a muddy little piggy. <laughs> You'll need a bath. And we'll need to wash your clothes. Oh. <laughs> George is washed in the bath. <laughs> George's clothes are washed in the washing machine. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. George's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your bottom, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <laughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <laughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No, but I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. <laughs> Hmm, I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm, too much colour. What about this then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm, what about this then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. What do you think, George? <laughs> Away! <laughs> George likes his new clothes. <laughs> Oh, so George didn't get any new clothes then. These are his new clothes, Daddy Pig. The same as before, but no holes. <laughs> ho, ho, 
I see. Can we play in the garden now, Mummy? Yes, let's all play in the garden. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, a muddy puddle. Let's jump in it. <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash. With a big splash here. <laughs> George, you've got your new clothes all muddy again. Oh. You're one to talk, Pepper. Look at your clothes. <laughs> and you seem to be a little muddy too, Daddy Pig. And you, Mummy Pig. Oh, well, it's only mud. It'll come off in the wash. If we're going to get washed anyway, let's get even more muddy. Yeah! <laughs> Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love getting muddy. Everyone loves getting muddy. <laughs> Wendy Wolf's birthday. It is Wendy Wolf's birthday and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy. Thank you, everybody. Mr Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And, and me. me. And, and me. Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons, but they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. <laughs> We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. <laughs> OK. Hooray! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, Mrs Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Look at that big bubble! That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ahooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw? Bricks. Oh, of course. That was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh! oh. oh. Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Oh, please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. <laughs> the only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK. Why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. <laughs> no, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <coughs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madame Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. <coughs> Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on. Paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello, can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Pepper and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not?
not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs> Pepper is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then Paris, here we come! Mummy, where is Paris? Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll see! This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy! The boat is rocking about! Yes, Pepper. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig, they might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah, cochon de la roue! Hello there! Hello! <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour, Delphine. Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs, get your little Eiffel Towers here. The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. You're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs>
Pepper has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. Do you think we should have told them we were coming? Hello, Mr Kangaroo. Oh, Mr Pig, what a surprise. You did say if we were ever passing, we should visit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kylie, look who's just dropped by. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. Grr. Grr. Crocodile. <laughs> We're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow! You have a plane. Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh! Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the outback on a sunny day. Flying to the outback a long, long way away. <laughs> <laughs> I love the outback. Um, what is the outback? We're flying over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is. But the outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. Here is our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <coughs> oh. <coughs> it is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <coughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! <coughs> Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! Oh. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh dear, the ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Pepper. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Pepper. Oh, goody. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> Pepper and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's Pond. <laughs> Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. <laughs> Today we are making a pond. Ooh. We start by digging a big hole. <laughs> Here is Mr Fox. Hello, Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you this morning? I don't need anything, thank you. Oh, 
Where's Grandpa Pig? Does he want anything? I'm afraid Grandpa's busy digging a pond. Pond, you say? Why, I've got just the thing. It's a no <gasps> fishing. Lovely. Antique. One of a kind. I'll take it. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are hard at work digging. Ooh. Pepper has found a little cup. Oh, that looks like a very old teacup. George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa. How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure. How exciting. I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of a lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. Why? There may be other rare objects buried in the ground. Granny, Granny, we're back. Hello, my little ones. Our treasures have to stay in the museum. And we can't dig here anymore until the expert digger comes. Where do you want me to dig, Mr Rabbit? Just about here, Mr Bull. <laughs> Mr Bull is an expert at digging. Find anything, Mr Bull? No, same as usual. Just a load of broken pottery and smashed stuff. Oh, well. Thank you for all your hard work anyway. No problem. I'm sorry we didn't find anything else. Not to worry. The good thing is you finished digging our pond for us. It's beautiful, Grandpa. A lovely natural pond. And to finish it off, a gnome. Do you like it, Mr Rabbit? I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. Oh, they're everywhere. This is an antique, one of a kind and very valuable. Then it belongs in the museum. So it does. Oh. Don't worry, you can see it at the museum any time you want. And you can get in half price, Granny, because you are old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.